You have reached your destination. Yep. Okay, finally my, my floors are done. That being the floorboards. I've coated these things in what would be called Dynamad, but it's the uh, Summit Racing version of the stuff. Uh, I'll do a picture of this thing at the end of the video. And um, tow boards are in. Ah, tow boards are in. Um, I've covered up to pretty much everything here. And again, this stuff is both an acoustic barrier and a heat barrier. I'm more interested in the, uh, the heat barrier. Um, so, not doing too badly. I've got covers for this thing, and a little triangular piece there in the center of the screen, whatever that's called. So I'm not awfully worried about there being some maybe covered, not covered stuff. I'll go this way. Yeah, this is the stuff I'm using. Um, it's really, really good. Once it's on, it's on. It doesn't un un undo, it's sticky. So, but, I've also cut myself a couple times on that face there, so, um, yep, not bad, not bad. I'll of course dress all the wires when I put the, uh, the rest of it together, but we the emergency brake in, that's looking pretty good, um, and it's working, so I think it's working, I'm still on my little coasters, um, but everything else is more or less finished. I've taped up a, you know, on the rear I had like a, a little bit of a gap there. Um, when I put everything in, I used, uh, what do you call it, weather stripping. i pause and see if I can find some of that stuff. Yeah, okay, so when I ordered my body packing set before I put the body back on the car, I inadvertently ordered two of them, so I had a bunch of extra weather seals, and it's this stuff here. Also nice and sticky, and... What's the other stuff I used on the very rear? I used 3M weather stripping. So between the wood floorboards and the rails, I've got it all weather stripped out. All weather stripped out. I think once I uh, once I lay the carpet down, I'm gonna put a a hole, maybe like right here, and put a plug in it. So that if I do ever flood my car, I've got a, a means of getting the water out. Um, I'll cross that bridge at some point, but, you know, who knows. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, I've got the... I've got the, uh, the pedal return spring. Let me see if I can get in there. All of that's put together. I've got a spring on there to... That's the gas pedal, so when you hit it, it springs back. Oh, and I've got all the rest of my lines run and hooked up except for the choke and the gas. Here's the gas. I don't know how it's run exactly, but I'll figure that out. Um, gas, I think, and here's... Where's the choke cable? Here's the choke cable. Yep, so I need to do some research and find out how I put that back on there. Um, pretty good layer of dust on <laughs> on everything. Um, yeah, I'll make a video and put it up. Yeah, but the interior is more or less prepped with what I wanted to do, with what I wanted to prep it with. That being all of the that you know what you see there, my uh, my battery cover. Where is that thing? That's a good question. I thought I had it up on my. I'm gonna pause this because I can find it. Yeah, there it is. That's my battery cover. Not that you can see it too well, but it's up in there in storage. So. Yeah, so hook up the gas and the choke, which I don't think is too awfully tough. I love pointers if anybody has them. Um, and uh, actually start the engine. I had to return my muffler, so that's not done. It was the wrong size. I ordered the wrong size, but I'm going to probably reorder it and uh, get, in a, get in an adapter. That's one and a half inch there at the back. I've also got wire wheels on order. I'm looking for decent, you know, tires for the thing. Obviously, these are these are the originals. No kidding. From 58, but I've got chrome wires coming. I'm thinking about white walls, so I'm doing some research on tires and where to get the, the best kinds and on and on. I have no intention on racing this thing or taking it to a track, so it's going to be just a, a pretty cruiser. 
and yeah so that's it for now enjoy and I forgot to kind of show some other areas here um the underside I got a couple of touch-up areas where I elected to cut off the uh, captive bolts and just go with uh, um, with uh, nylocks. And I use 7 16 by 1, I think it is. Um, this dark stuff on the back of the, uh, the floors is what's called lizard skin. I mentioned that in a prior video. This is a ceramic coating um, that rebuffs heat. It also um coats the wood prior to putting that stuff on though i dunked this you know all of these floorboards <laughs> in a ton of uh of weather <coughs> weather sealant so let me see a better example of where you can see the maybe you can't see it but well, let's see <sighs> kind of back in there you see a little bit of there you go you can see the uh the weather shipping popping out Squished out as I've uh, you know, pulled these things down, and like I said, I got some touch-up to do to make sure that the paint is you know, covered, but nice and tidy under here. Um, I'd had a little bit of fear. Actually, let me see if I can zoom in there. Here's a better indicator. Yeah, you can see some of the weather stripping uh, squishing out there. So got a good amount of uh, weather stripping squished out, and I've also got the. Uh, uh, the exhaust pipe wrapped and hung. Um, all the brakes are correctly working. Uh, like I say, it's just a matter of time before I get the uh, the carbs hooked up and the car started. I need to put some coolant in the uh, in the uh, radiator, but you know that's it. And this entire thing needs a bath. <laughs> needs a bath big time. Just spray it down, and I've got to remember to tie everything in the rear end down. It's all loosely put in it right now. <clears throat> yeah not bad not bad it all looks pretty good i'm not uh, displeased at all not at all